Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will try to see that how we can use the Linux operating system within a Windows system. There are many bioinformatic tools which can only be used using a Linux environment. For example, the Gromix, which is a very famous tool for molecular dynamic simulations. Now, if you have a Windows based system, then you don't need to be worried. In this tutorial, we will let you know how to install the Linux environment in the Windows system. To install the Linux, the first thing, come here into the Windows search and type Windows features. Click on the Windows feature and then scroll it down and move to Windows subsystem for Linux. Click here and then click OK. Your system will search some required files. And after these required files, it will ask you to restart your system. It may take a one minute to two minutes to complete its job. So, the job is done and it's asking to restart our system. We will restart our system and then we will see how to install the Linux environment on the Windows system. Our system is restarted. Now we will go to the Microsoft Store and we will search the Ubuntu. We will click on this Ubuntu and then we will click on the install button. The download will begin when you will hit the install button. This is approximately 450 MB of the size and it may take some time depending upon your internet speed. As it will be installed, you need to click on this launch button. And when you will click on this launch button, the Ubuntu terminal will be in front of you. Now, right now, the Ubuntu is installing some necessary files and it may take two to three minutes. Now, the necessary files are installed. Now, you need to set your username. My username is Naim. I will type the name and hit the enter button. And now it will ask me the password. So let me set my password. It is asking me to confirm my new password. Now, the Linux environment is setting it up. And now my Linux environment is ready to use. Now I need to navigate from my user ID to the desktop where my files are located. To move from my user ID to the desktop where my files are located, I need to write cd backspace mnt. As you can see it here, right now we are in mnt folder. We will type cd c and as you, and you can see it here that right now we are in a c drive. We can write down the ls and this ls will let us know the number of the different folders which are present in the c drive. From this c drive we need to move to the user folder. So we will write down cd users and once again we will write down the ls. This ls will let us know the number of different folders which are present in the user. Now we want to move to the Lenovo. So we will write down once again cd l-e-n-o-v-o. -E right now we are in the Lenovo folder. Let me write down the ls once again. Here you can see the number of again different files and the folders which are present in the Lenovo. I need to move to my desktop. So I will write down cd desktop. Hit the enter button and you can see it here. Now I'm in my desktop. 
I will write down the ls once again and you can see the different folders and the files which are present at my desktop. Now you can use these files to run them in the Linux environment. Hopefully this tutorial will be informative for you. In the coming tutorials, we will try to see that how we can install the Gromix and how we can use the Gromix in the Linux environment to carry out the MD simulations. Please hit the subscribe button and please also like and share our videos. Thanks for watching these videos.